Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of periodization. We will help you understand what variables of training can be manipulated, the different components of training, and how it can all fit together through various structures of periodization. Let's get started. There are a number of variables that can be manipulated through training to maximize performance and adaptations. Volume is an estimate of how much total work is accomplished and an estimate of total energy expended. Volume load, which is reps times mass lifted, is the best practical estimate of work accomplished during a workout. Intensity is associated with the rate at which energy or ATP is used. Intensity is typically estimated by the rate of performing work, such as power output or magnitude of force production. For resistance training, intensity is provided by the amount of weight lifted or load. Super maximal intensity is anything over 100% of maximal performance. Maximal intensity is 90 to 100%. Heavy is 80 to 90%. Medium is 70 to 80%, low is 50 to 70%, and very low, which is anything under 50%. Rest and recovery looks at the individual's ability to dissipate fatigue while maintaining fitness and preparedness in an attempt to increase performance. If recovery periods are enhanced, then greater loads will be tolerated. Inter-exercise recovery occurs during exercise and is related to bioenergetics. Post-exercise recovery occurs after exercise and is related to the removal of metabolic byproducts, replenishment of energy stores, and the initiation of tissue repair. Long-term recovery is part of the overall periodization of recovery, which we will come on to later. Work-rest ratios allow to target specific bioenergetic adaptations. Frequency or density can refer to the amount of training sessions or the frequency at which an individual performs a series of repetitions within a specific time period. Manipulation of these factors can lead to overreaching, which is a planned period of intense training during a short-term cycle to improve performance. There is an initial decrease in performance but with the appropriate recovery, a supercompensation effect occurs, resulting in enhanced performance compared with baseline levels. Or overtraining, which is a long-term decrease in performance as a result of prolonged exposure to high levels of training. Complexity is the physiological and biomechanical difficulty of a skill. Complex skills may be time-consuming, high intensity, and induce greater levels of physical and mental fatigue. Therefore, the most complex skills often occur at the start of a training session. Components of training include stabilization, which is the ability to get the right muscles to fire at the right time with the right amount of force in the correct plane. Muscular endurance, which is the ability to produce and maintain force production for prolonged periods of time. Strength, which is the ability of the neuromuscular system to produce internal tension to overcome an external load. Power, which is the ability of the neuromuscular system to produce the greatest force in the shortest time. Flexibility, which is the normal extensibility of all soft tissues that allow for full range of motion of a joint. Speed, which is the ability to move the body in one intended direction as fast as possible. And agility, which is the ability to accelerate, decelerate, stabilize and change direction quickly whilst maintaining correct posture. Periodization is when all these variables are taken and structured into training programs. This enables individuals to achieve optimum performance at specific moments in a season or event. In order to achieve this, a whole training plan is broken down into specific cycles. A macro cycle is the big picture of the training program, consisting of long-term performance goals. 
A common macro cycle, a seasonal sport such as football, will include a preparation period, which helps build the foundation for competitive performance, a competition period, which helps bring an athlete to peak performance ready for the competition, and a transition period, which helps recovery by allowing physical and mental regeneration prior to the next preparation period. Mesocycles are short-term goals within a macro cycle, usually lasting between two weeks and three months. They may focus specifically on a component of training, such as muscular endurance. And microcycles, which are the one to two weeks of training that can be repeated throughout a mesocycle. They dictate exactly what an individual is working on from Monday to Sunday. Careful manipulation of these cycles allow for periods of peaking, which is when an athlete is at the height of physical and psychological conditioning, such as planning to peak at the Olympics or a big final, and tapering, which is a reduction in workload prior to a major competition to enable the athlete to reach peak performance. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos, hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website, www.sportsciencehub.com, for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.